Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss about what are the solutions for exercise 1 in lines and angles. So our first question is, what is the names for this? What is the significance of these lines? And what is the representation in this mathematics? What is the importance of this line, line segment and this is 3 and all the things? How it's evolved? Okay, our first one is. A B line segment. Line segment is a part of a line. Okay. And line segment will always start at one point and end, it will going to end at another point. So here this one we can write as line segment A B. Line segment A B. This is the representation of line segment AB. And next one is, it started, it started at one point and goes somewhere. So this type of things, this type of lines are called a ray. Ray means always it started at one point and it, is, it goes somewhere. So what is the best example is sun rays. So sun is a source of rays. So it started at sun position and it will move to the earth and it's traveling to the earth, earth surface so it's having it's it's having source and it's moving in somewhere in a different directions and also light scattering is also best example for the rays so light is a source uh, bulb is the source and light rays will going to emit from that okay this one we can call it as always ray will have starting point and there is no ending point that type of things are called rays so this one is ray dc ray dc so this is the representation for ray dc line segment will be always line segment ab bar you can call it as like that and xy this one is the best best known and best representation always with a line so there is no starting point there is no ending point that type of line that type of things are called as lines so it is it's there is no starting and there is no ending it goes in two directions and it will going to enclosed with the arrow marks so we can call it this one as line x y representation upon that line and it's it is a point point p we can call it as point p we are going to represent like that so that is the solutions for first question and we'll go for the second question so what is the we need to draw they are given the names and we need to draw what is that things so here op for that it started at one point and it will go somewhere so you can draw like starting point and so it is a O somewhere P, somewhere P. It is a OP ray and point X, simply point and X, simply point and X. RS is there here, RS is a line, RS is the line, you can write like this, both starting and ending arrow mark should be there in between something points or s and c is the line segment it is started somewhere and it's ending somewhere so so c d is a line segment it's starting and ending it it will have both starting point and ending points and here what are the possible in third question what are the possible what are the possible of line segments so for this type of questions always need to start with the smaller one and we need to go with the bigger one here smaller one is the smaller line segment is a b line segment and b c line segment and c d line segment so these are the three possibility with the smaller lines and you go for the next level so what are that line segment are a c is a one line segment and a with A letter, C is the B already finished and C is the possibility level and D is the possibility line segment and go with the B. With B, C already covered 
and with B, D. So, it will be like this. Then, C, D already over. So, like that line segments easily you can solve like this. So, started with A, A with the smaller length B and A with the somewhat bigger length C and at most D and B with started with the C and D, C with the D and remaining reverse also you can do D with the A and all are welcome same. What are the possibility line segments for this is A, B line segment, comma B, C line segment, comma C, D line and A, C and A, D and B, D. So, these are the major line segments which are possible with the given figure. Next, fourth question is, what are the angles you around you can see? What are the most angles you can see? So, mostly you will see the, um, suppose we will check in a home, uh, in front of doors, uh, there will, you can see right angles at mostly and you can see the trees which are branches and all the angles will be there and if you open the textbook, and you can see in our hands also you can see the angles different angles like this different angles and with uh, you can see the angles between wings in a fan and angles between a chair angles between a cupboard angles between a oh, whatever so many things you can write for the angles wherever you will see angles you can write that one and next one is for fifth question what is the answer is so here, what type of angles they are given? That one you need to find. What type of angles? Acute angle is there, obtuse is there, straight angle is there. First, we should know the what are the angles uh, and what is the significance. First one is acute angle. For acute angle, if it's acute angle means if angle is less than 90 degrees, then we can call acute angles. If it is an angle is less than 90 degrees, then you can call acute then right angle right angle means if it is a equal to 90 degree if it is a equal to 90 degrees then you can call that angle we can call it as a right angle next obtuse the angle between 90 degrees to the the angle between above 90 and below 180 uh, angle theta means angle we are going to represent angles with the thetas more in higher classes so up to angles majorly will take the angle which are above the 90 degrees and below the 90 degrees that all angles are called active angles so here in first figure what they are given is so here it is a less than 90 degree then you can take it as acute acute and for second one, it is a more than 90 degrees. If you see that uh, figure, you can you can easily understand uh, what is the angles and what are the answers. So this one is obtuse. And this one exactly 90 degrees. So exactly 90 degrees, what angle you can call it as right angle. Right angle. Then this one, fourth one is obviously it is a acute angle. And fifth one, obviously it is a obtuse angle. Why? Because it is a more than obtuse. It is a more than 90 degree. So thanks for watching this video. We can watch more we hear more videos right here on YouTube. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And all of you in this model we're going to discuss about. What are the solutions for 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th question in exercise 1 in lines and angles? So in this 6th question, we need to find what are the angles and which are acute angles and which are obtuse angles, which are right angles. We need to find and what is the straight angle. So in this, they are asked a new one, straight angle. Straight angle is nothing but the angle is equal to 180 degree. Then you can call it as a straight angle. The angles or if you add all the angles, it will going to make 
angles sum will be equal to 180 then you can call it as a supplementary angle if it is the adjacent angle sum is equals to 180 degree then you can call it as a linear pair angles so there is a difference between supplementary linear in these what are the angles we need to first we need to find so always if it is a angles if they're going to ask anything angles like that means first you need to start with the letters according to the left to right or right to left whatever it is so i just want to start from the left side so the angle which one is a o f the angle is a o angle a o f the angle a o f next one is angle a o e first one second one let's take comma angle a o e so i told that we need to if it's it is a better to start from the alphabets to the reminding all the things so angle a o e comma angle a o d next angle a o c angle a o c that is you can take it as a fourth one and next one is angle a o b that one you can take it as a five so that one you can take it as a, with the a these are the angles next one what are the possibility angles with f so angle f o e angle f o e that one is this one angle f o e why because angle a o f already finished f o a is nothing but a o f so here no need to take again this angle so f o e next f o d so angle f o d comma angle f o c comma angle f o b so here finished with the f letter angles are finished with the f letter next Next, start with the E. Already A O E A F O E already finished. So it is better to go to the, this direction. So angle E O B, comma angle E O C, comma angle E O B. So these are the angles possible with E to right side direction. Next fourth one. So you will go with the D O C comma d o b these are the angles next c c o b with the c c o b is the angle remaining angle remaining all are finished with the c letters in upper direction and last one that is a a o b so all the acute angles all the what are the acute angles it is a less than to 90 degrees so these are the angles possible with the this so what are the acute angles which is less than to 90 degree so acute angles so acute angles are a o f acute angle and a o f and f o e e o d d o c and c o b these are all, all are acute angles which are right angles right angles means a o e a o e is 90 degrees and e o b where is the e o b that is also 90 degrees and f o c also 90 degrees it's better to go f o c is also 90 degrees these are the right angles which is this right angle the angle which is 180 degree that is a o b that is a o b next one which are the obtuse angle it is a more than 90 degrees the obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees that is a o b a o c these are the acute angles and b o f and these are the acute angles okay we'll go for the next one which are the parallel lines so the parallel lines won't meet at any distances in the infinite distances the line which are not intersect to each other the lines which are not touched to each other these lines are called as parallel lines 
So parallel lines are this first one is parallel line. It won't, it won't be intersect. Why? Because the distance between two lines are constant. The distance between two lines is constant. It won't change. It won't change at any distance. So for that, the two lines are called as a parallel lines. First one is a parallel line. Parallel lines. Next one. So here, these lines will may, these lines may be going to intersect. So lines means there is no starting, there is no ending point. We can make the, these lines as like this. It will going to intersect. So these are not parallel lines. Why? Because it will be intersect at some distance. The distance between two lines is may vary. So for that, that's, that second one is not a parallel lines. So it's by seeing only you can say this is not parallel lines. Why? Because they are intersecting each other at this point. Okay. For uh, this fourth one is parallel line. Why? Because the distance between two lines are constant. At, in, at any distance, it will be constant. So for that, this one is parallel lines. So right question, what are the intersecting lines they are asking? So this is intersecting. By seeing only you can see what is the intersecting means. They are touching each other at this point, some point P. So these are the intersecting lines. Okay. The second one also may be intersecting. Why? Because it may be coincide, it may be touch each other at some distance. How it will be touch? So I am line extending, the second line extending like this. So this point is the intersection point for the second one. So this is also intersecting lines. So third one, it's not intersecting lines. Why? Because the distance between both the lines will be same distance at any cast, at any time. So these are the not intersecting lines. For fourth one, obviously it is intersecting lines. So why? Because it is intersecting some point X. So you can say intersecting lines. So thanks for watching this video. You can watch more we uh, right here, more videos on right here on YouTube. So please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed.